Hey guys, Katie Hill Farmer coming back with a new farm vlog today. We are going to get into uh, some wood stove repair, probably. Why it's still cool in the garage? Uh, it may be hard to hear, but I got the fan going here. But anyhow, before we get into the video, guys, if you would go check out the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Katie Hill Farmer. Also, if you like what you see in the videos, go ahead and drop a like or subscribe if you ain't already subscribed. Uh, this is kind of what we do on this channel. Uh, just get some stuff fixed up, blah, blah. Uh, I about didn't get the video camera turned on, but I bought this Fisher Wood stove, which as you guys know, I have one in my basement. I really like them. And I got a pretty good deal on this one. So I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, which, I, I, I mean, I seen the problem before we even garage is a mess so so don't pay no attention to that uh but anyhow i'm just trying to find some earplugs really but uh we got the stove in and like i said it, it's all right uh it was in all right condition but it had one major as you can tell it's tipped up Somebody already done this. As you can see, I started grinding on it. But whoever, you see the crack right there. They done a good job welding it, but they kind of got off track. And I'm gonna kind of show you, well, hope to show you how we can remedy this. But I need to grind that weld off and re-weld it it's cracked all the way through this pipe too if you can see it and it's cracked on the inside the inside i'm really not too concerned about because when i weld i'll grind that out and i'll weld it you know a couple passes so i'm getting penetration inside and you shouldn't have to worry about that uh then you know paint it up it should be brand new what caused that to crack though, I'm not sure. Uh, these Fisher wood stoves are a tough stove. You can see that's quarter, that's probably quarter inch plate. Uh, if you guys have any ideas what the heck would make that crack, I'm all for suggestions. Somebody said heat and a chimney fire, but I mean, I can take my torches over there in the corner. Should be able to heat that up all day long, throw water on it and it shouldn't crack. Unless these wood stoves are made out of some kind of hard plate or something like that. I can understand it a little bit better but uh anyhow that's what we're going to do today so stand by here and we'll get this grounded off i may try to weld it today i'm not sure uh depends if i can i don't have a welder in the shop i'd like to get one but uh we'll see where it goes so just stick by here let me get my hearing protection on all that good stuff we'll uh grind, get this weld grounded down okay guys First thing I want to do is find the end of this crack. And I want I want to make sure this crack stops. So like I said, if you see me get silent here, like right now all I see is I see like there, there's almost been a lot of weight pushed on this. Because it's kind of rounded right here. Uh like I said again, I don't know if that's how they were made, but maybe somebody had a lot of weight on it. I, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, it bumps up and goes back down in. Uh, like I said, leave it. I, I've never refurnished one. I just know the Fisher Wood stoves are sought after. That's why I decided to take on this project. Uh, like I said, I got one myself. But anyhow, first thing I want to do is I'll get to the end of that crack. And I will take, oh, let's say, eighth inch bit, put her in the old DeWalt, and I want to drill at the very end of this crack. See how hard this metal is. So I'm right at the end of that crack. Okay, 
okay that should stop any further cracking we hope so now what i gotta do is get all this big ass well or excuse my language get all this weld off this stove <laughs>
crack and just widen it up. Feels like uh I'll be honest with you, it feels like a real soft metal for being on this wood stove. Uh the problem is what I'm running into right now is getting where I really need it. And I don't know, I guess I'm just going to have to see what I can do here. Just give me a second. you wear safety glasses. That blade caught, exploded. If I wouldn't have safety glasses on, I know a lot of them get my glasses. And that's what happens. So, baby. Yeah, that's what happened. I had my, all my safety stuff on. Kind of did hit my arms up here. You can see. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, it's all grooved out. We'll get a welder, weld this up, grind it back down, and see how it looks. But anyhow, guys, I'm going to have to make two parts of this video. And uh, we'll come back and let you know how it did. I'll try to take you welding. Uh, it depends where I have to take the take it to get welded or borrow a welder or something. But uh, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Look for part two. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>